Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video from Emotion. If you're a fan of all things electric and keeping up with the world's transition to electric vehicles, you must watch this video about this startup that claims that its battery technology outperforms competitors. A 10% increase nanograph says that their silicon anode lithium batteries will be commercially viable. The quest for a better lithium ion battery has frequently encountered a brick block in the lab with tantalizing advances failing to scale and succeed. The Chicago-based startup has presented an 18650 lithium-ion battery with an energy density of 800 watt-hours per liter, which it says is the highest of its kind in the world. The chemical aim of Nanograph is well known, having driven the hopes of battery companies and researchers for years, replacing a carbon graphite anode with a nano-engineered oxidized silicone anode that can store many more lithium atoms. Nanograph's patented technology, according to firm CEO Francis Wang, is reliable and inexpensive enough to satisfy the global behemoths of battery production while remaining within the restrictions of existing manufacturing procedures. According to Wang, commercial battery advancements have reached a halt in recent years. To back up this claim, a company spokesperson cited a propriety analysis of recent battery industry performance, which found that the progress of state-of-the-art lithium-ion batteries' power capacity has slowed over the previous decade, halting the previously steady price drop of commodity battery cells. However, Wang claims that Nanograph silicon anode battery has a 10% higher energy density than the industry's top-performing 18650 cells. Its proof-of-concept includes reducing the weight of batteries carried by soldiers in patrol. Nanograph cells, which are now undergoing production validation in North America, might lower pack weight by 15%. If Nanograph succeeds in getting a foothold in that industry, the company's next aim is to scale the enormous barriers established by Detroit and other EV manufacturers, as well as consumer electronics manufacturers. Junhui Junichou, a Brown University PhD candidate who has spent more than eight years investigating lithium-ion batteries, detailed the problems that companies like Nanograph face. However, when charging, silicon swells and expands by up to 300 to 400 percent, wreaking havoc in small silicon particles and protective barriers between the anode and the electrolyte. Tesla is one of the battery manufacturers that's adding tiny quantities of silicon to graphite powder to overcome this problem. Another key stumbling block is producing long-lasting sea-based anodes at a reasonable cost on a large scale. When looking at battery startups, that is one of the most crucial points, Chaw added. It's easy to make a functional prototype with a high energy density, but mass manufacturing them and producing consistent batches over and again is a whole other level. Nanograph, according to Wang, has resolved all of the primary pain points. He claims a first cycle columbic efficiency of 89 or 90 percent, close to graphite anodes and high enough to catch the attention of any large battery manufacturer, with a special aqueous surface coating that shields the anode from harmful reactions. Finally, Wang claims that Nanograph's aqueous surface coating is more cheap and practical than traditional vapor deposition coatings since it can drop into existing battery manufacturing facilities. According to an Oak Ridge Laboratory research, electrode manufacture is the most expensive element of production after battery materials, accounting for up to 40% of overall battery pack cost. According to Wang, battery manufacturers LG Chem, Panasonic, Samsung, and Cat L have attained about 5% silicon content in battery anodes but are stuck there. Graphite will gradually be replaced by silicon over time. The company presently produces 10 tons of oxidized silicon material each year in Japan, which Wang refers to as the company's secret sauce. However, Nanograph expects to produce 35 tons per year by next year from a proposed factory in Chicago's West Loop. That would be sufficient for a small military supply with the eventual objective of mass production and expansion into electric transportation. To get to Detroit in electric automobiles is a dream come true, Wang added, but we have to get to fighting weight first. Nanograph declined to name its partners, but claimed it works with more than 50 firms including some of the world's most well-known consumer electronics, home appliances, and power tool brands, as well as a dozen electronic mobility strategic partners. Lithium metal or solid-state batteries, according to Cho, face fierce competition from silicon, but such technologies may have an even longer road to commercial success. Silicon's promise is undeniable until the next major breakthrough in technology occurs. It's a logical progression from the batteries we now have. Nanograph is working on a battery chemistry material that has a higher energy density. The company's silicon oxide anode material can boost battery capacity by 12% in the 18650 form factor at a potentially commercially competitive price. 
Nanograph, an innovative battery material business, said that it has discovered a chemical composition that permits previously unreachable levels of energy density in an 18650 cylindrical lithium-ion cell after more than a year of research and development. The 18650 cell is a standardized battery form factor that's utilized by companies like Tesla and the United States Army. According to Kurt Chip of Britain Camp, the energy density achievement was achievable by inventing a propriety silicon oxide anode material that can be incorporated into the same battery form factor at densities above what has previously been achieved. If you're interested in other fascinating things about electric vehicles, then make sure you check out our video on 2022 Lucid Air First Drive. You could go check this out after the video. According to Britain Camp, Datagraph was able to boost battery capacity in the 18650 form factor by an initial 12% using this material. Prior to Nanograph's work, energy density in that form factor had grown by around 8% during the previous decade. The U.S. Department of Defense provided funds for Nanograph's research, which aimed to produce a longer-lasting and perhaps lighter per-cell lithium-ion battery to offer U.S. military troops with greater portable power for the equipment they rely on. The new chemistry, however, has applications beyond military portable devices, with Nanograph stating that the electric car's EVs have the most potential for most energy-dense batteries since the cell technology may deliver an immediate jump in vehicle range. Range anxiety has been a big barrier to EV acceptance in the mainstream. The new cell technology, according to Nanograph, may increase the range of a Tesla Model S by up to 28% on a single charge. This latest success, according to Britain Camp, is just the beginning, and the industry might soon witness much bigger density gains. The achievement of capacity is not restricted to the 18650 form factor, but might be applied to other battery cells as well. The 18650 form factor was chosen, according to Britain Camp, because of its economic importance and broad use. Nanograph's main objective in the short term is to commercialize its technology. According to Britain Camp, the business intentionally sought out a low cost production approach with low-cost materials in order to achieve cost parity with the present market-leading battery technology. It follows on the heels of Tesla's global switch to LFP for standard-range vehicles. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, has stated several times in the previous year that the company intends to switch more electric cars to LFP batteries in order to address nickel supply difficulties. Tesla has already switched to LFP cells in its China-made Model 3 and Model Y. Tesla also said last week that for the standard-range vehicles, it's moving to lithium-iron phosphate battery chemistry globally. It would imply that Tesla intends to transition the Model 3 Standard Range Plus built in Fremont to LFP cells as well. According to a fresh source from China, Tesla has won an order from CatL for 45 gigawatt hour of LFP cells for next year. Tesla has ordered 45 gigawatt hour lithium iron phosphate batteries from China's major power battery business CatL for next year's sales plan, mostly for Model 3 and Model Y cars, according to 36KR sources. Depending on the mix of regular range models, such a number would be enough to create between 700,000 and 800,000 vehicles. That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content and latest updates. Until next time.